Hi guys, out in my garage. Uh, a few weeks back, I was doing a little series on trying to dissolve PLA using um, cellulose thinners. It doesn't dissolve PLA, it does soften it a bit. As you can probably see, this has gone a bit loose and floppy in there. But that's now a few weeks later and it certainly hasn't done any more to it other than make it go soft so I had another idea same stuff uh, universal cellulose thinners I thought how about seeing if we can clean CDs because so I've got a load of old CDs that had uh, financial details on that sort of thing and I wanted to clear them off in a way that I could still use them for my rubber band powered cars so I was rather hoping I could get the back layer off but as you can probably see the cellulose thinners is actually dissolving the plastic which I probably should have known about anyway but it's having more effect on this side than it is on that side I mean it is doing it but I was rather hoping I might be able to just get that back layer off because if you get that back layer off and the silver layer underneath it then you destroy all the data anyway but uh, yeah it's having more effect on the plastic itself than it is on the backing so I just thought I'd do a little video on that these ones, it doesn't seem to have any effect on at all on the um, paint side. It did the other side, but uh, nothing on that side. So, yeah, I just sort of put it in a tray of the stuff, leave it for a while. And then I was rubbing it off with a rag. And just what I get is an imprint of the rag <laughs> because it's softened this side of the plastic, but it's had no effect in this case on the printed side. Did on that one, so obviously they're different uh, manufacturers. Still, so, just thought I'd do a short video on that. No particular uh, use for it other than the fact I'm just trying to clean them off so I don't leave data on there for rubber band powered cars that somebody might eventually come along and well nah I'm probably wasting my time because by the time I put hot glue on there or super glue or anything like that it'll have damaged it so I don't think the data would have been recoverable but I would have liked to have cleaned off this side Wire brush does it quite effectively. Electric drill and wire brush. I've just remembered I had a comment saying what would happen if we took that out of the cellulose and before it's had time to dry, put it in a bath of oil. So that's just ordinary engine oil. Fully synthetic. Hmm. Okay. Not quite sure how long I've had that in the back of the garage. Anyway, let's see if we can do this left-handed. So that is soft and rubbery. So if we stick it in the oil. the theory is that it's going to soak up the oil instead of drying out. Could have done with a bit more oil in there. Oh, that'll do it. And we'll leave it in there for a little while and then we'll come back and have a look at it and see if it's hardened up. Because what happens is it's soft when it's in the PLA but when we leave it out 
in the open air it dries out and goes back to being rigid and hard. Well, I've left it in there for a few minutes. Uh, the, the stalk, we'll call it, is still fairly flexible. And that didn't get oil on it. And this is still flexible at the moment, but obviously it's still covered in oil. So it hasn't actually had a chance to dry out. So I guess what I've got to do now is leave it somewhere so the oil can drain off it. Depends what you want to do with it. Uh, just to give you the background, when I noticed putting it in um, cellulose thinners, and also acetone, which is more or less the same thing, now that I've looked up the details of the cellulose thinners. Uh, years ago, when I used to use cellulose thinners on model aeroplanes and dope, apparently it was made of something completely different to what current cellulose thinners are. Col current cellulose thinners are more or less acetone. And a few other bits and pieces. Anyway, um... Uh, when I first saw that it made it go soft, I thought that would be handy. I'd be able to use it for things that I wanted to be soft PLA. Uh, my first thought was a button on top of my radio control transmitter on top of the peg, peg, stick. Um, just thought I could have a soft button on the top of it. Soft to touch, not soft squishy, but like this is. Soft. Um... But as soon as I printed it, put it in the cellulose thinners, left it for a while, took it out again. It was soft initially, but as it dried out, it went back to being rigid. And I think the only reason this one hasn't gone back to being rigid is because it's full of oil now. But I don't, wouldn't really want a button full of oil. Obviously not, because you're getting it all over your hands. Right, I'll see if I can wipe it off on the rag and see what happens then. Well, it's probably only been a few more minutes. But it feels to me like it is stiffening up again. The edges are definitely stiffer there. You can see it's going white. That way it's still fairly flexible. But this this side here has gone hard. And I was doing a little flex test up here, and you can clearly see where it's broken. The top end has stiffened up quite a bit. Oh, it's just broken right off. But obviously that was how far I'd got the oil up it. So that was still fairly flexible there. Oh, actually it's going stiff again now. I think the answer to the comment is yes, it has kept it flexible longer. Um, Maybe if I'd left it in the oil much longer, it would stay flexible even longer. But I don't think we're in a position here where we're going to be able to use ordinary PLA for rubber tyres or anything like that. I don't think it's going to get to that situation. I think the other answer is, if you want to try and experiment further, you're going to have to do it yourself. <laughs> I've spent enough time on this video and the previous one and the one before that.
check the video description though there is a playlist for this sort of experiment I might come back a bit later and just see if that has hardened up completely right final update on the PLA I've left it out here we're a few hours later and that is now hard again I can flex it a bit but it's compared to the soft floppiness that's gone hard again yeah you can see I can flex it if I push it hard enough but the oil has either soaked in or disappeared well it must have soaked in because that oil wouldn't have evaporated yeah I would say it's made no difference because that bit didn't get oil on it and that's as flexible as that is when I push it so it hasn't turned it into rubber that'll do I think CDs I was looking at. I think I've certainly stopped anybody being able to put them in a CD player and play them, or DVD as that one is. But that wasn't quite the intention. The intention was to get the, the paint off the back of it and the silver layer, which is where the data is stored. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.